So when you bounce between Capture One and Adobe Lightroom, the wording and phrasing they use to talk about certain things, like clarity is clarity, you know, that they use very, very similar words. In this, I have noticed that they use their own sort of languaging. So anyway, so let's look at apparently the stack works up by lab adjustments. I like lab, lab's great. So I use lab in color creation to which result a lot. But let's just straighten this photo. How easy is it for me to straighten this photograph? Selective editing, where is it? You see, even the icons don't really tell me what I'm supposed to be doing here. Here we are. So plus or minus exposure, tone mapping, shadow, equalize. Where are we going? So spot removal, local edges, noise reduction, it sort of makes sense. That one, return X, selective editing. What's that all about? Nope. Crop, resizing and framing. Crop, I don't want to crop. Lens and geometry, rotate. Here we go. Auto crop, select a straight line. Oh, hopefully you'll be able to put something on the screen to show you what to do. I'm sure I'm missing something here. Okay, but that's straight now, that's fine. Now, I mean, oh, straight off the bat, so you could go in here, you can obviously play the exposure with a lot of information, exposure compensation, and then you can go through dynamic range compression. I know about that, a man, what would he apply to that, it's not HDR. Color appearance and lighting. Yeah, I mean, it's, you get is a learning curve. That's all I'm going to say with this. It looks like it can do the job. 